straight to his log. It's going to be amazing, right? Yeah, we're just waiting for Kevin Ashley to get lit on this curve. Let's do it. Alright guys, this is your side first here on Tom Sam channel. Choo -choo. Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. So that there was a little bit of behind the scenes action from the Manti Track Day that myself and Bruno filmed the other week. The video is coming on so, so well, it's so nearly finished, so make sure you follow me on Instagram as that's where you're going to find out when the video is finally released. It just needs to make a few more changes for Manti to approve it, and then it's going to be up and on the website. Thank you to those who helped out with that video, thanks to those who got interviewed. It was really, really fun, and I can't wait to show you guys the finished video. So this week, all the boys from Britain are down, so we've got all the mates around, and last night, I decided to get everyone around here for a curry. So here's a bit of behind the scenes action of what went down. Oh, the content. Oh, spare uncle chicken. Fiesta Salmonella. Fiesta Salmonella. Welcome to the Salmonella Festival. <laughs> well, all I'm going to say is I'm glad I've got a day off tomorrow. You're going to fucking need it, mate. <laughs> You're going to lose some pounds. So, um. <laughs> 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 Come on here. Apart from John and Peter. <laughs> That is like a spy cast. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Mitch has cut himself, everyone. <laughs> so. Let's have a look at the injury. Go yeah, on, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's terrible. It's He's got like it. toe thumbs as well. Which what? Is <laughs> toe <laughs> thumbs? <laughs> a plaster for a little cut. <laughs> oh, uh, look at this guy. Look at him. <laughs> Sorry I didn't really film much of that because I just wanted to hang out with a few mates and just, you know, have a chilled evening away from the camera. So that was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Mitch did cut his hand pretty badly on the oven, but um, that's what you get when you're a novice, right? We thought we were going to have to use some stitches to get the thing sorted out, but luckily, for some reason, I've got an unhealthy amount of plasters in my house. So we patched them up pretty good, and I'm pleased to say that he did live to tell the tale. So yeah, today I've got the day off. I'm going to make the most of it by going out on track. I'm going to go out in one car in particular that I've been really, really excited to try out, and that is the M4 GTS that Nuno owns. So yeah, really, really stoked for that. I'm also going to go out with a friend called Sam, who I've known from home for years, and he has a Monty Blue E92 M3, so I'm very, very excited about that as well. So with that being said, let's pack up, let's get down to the TF car park and get out on track. Right, okay, so I don't know how much of that I actually got on video, but that was the M4 GTS piloted by Nuno, who is over there checking his pressures. Mega car, mega car. And then we're now in Sam's 92, which, if the track reopens, we'll go for another lap, but good times, good times, BMW train with a taxi. Good fun. It was good fun, so. See you later, Nuno. Off for another lap. So Wally's going to do some pressures now and then we'll go out and give the E92 a go which as you guys know is a car that I'm definitely looking at potentially buying next and I've never actually been on track in a proper E92 just a stock one, like, I say stock but you know 
one that's not a Sherman. So that's why I wanted to go out in the, M the M4 GTS as well to see how that compared to our M4 and the other Sherman builds that we have as well. And I've got to say, very, very impressed. Like the suspension, shit. not working. Do you want new nose? So yeah, very, very impressed with the M4 GTS. Just everything down to the materials that are used in the car. It just feels like a very nice place to be. But also the power delivery, the suspension, it just felt effortlessly quick. Like it's hard to explain. It's it's kind of got that whole track performance feature in something that's really OEM. So that was really cool, really nice. So thank you to Nuno for that lap. Uh, you can check out Nuno. He's currently doing a series called RD Garage along with Rat Dog Media. And um, I'll put the description, the link to their stuff down in the description below. But basically this winter, a lot of the English boys that you might recognize from Instagram and things like that are rebuilding their cars down in the UK and they're doing a whole series about it. So definitely go and check that out. Super entertaining. And if you're into cars and a bit of British banter, then you are going to be a big fan of that, I promise. So anyway. So it's on pressures, let's get helmets on and let's check out the E92. Stock one. Well, it's not stock, is it? But you know what I mean. Let's see what it's like. I'm very excited. Right, E92 lap done. Cheers for that, Sam. No worries. Top lad. So yeah, again, very impressed by the E92. Just BMW are doing a good job today. But like I was just saying to Sam, it's um, super, super linear. Obviously, it's naturally aspirated engine, so it's super rewarding to carry the speed into the corners. And, you know, I've, I feel like it'd be more rewarding to drive, um, for sure, than obviously something turbo. Uh, it sounds great. This is the first one that I've driven that's not been a Sherma, or been in that's not been a Sherma, and yeah, it's cool. It's been set up by Manhella. Sam will be able to tell you a bit more, actually. So, set up by Manhella. Yep, um, set up by Manhella. Yep. Radar, motorsport, damper settings. Okay. Um, that's about it, really. And then, that's yeah, about it. Coilovers, brakes, yeah. anti-roll bars. It just bushes. shows, like, what you can do with, you Standard know. Standard engine. Exactly, yeah. You've not messed about with any of the internals as such. You've just added the cage in seats, harnesses, brakes, just all the stuff that matters to make it a really, really reliable track car, so good job. Uh, if any of you are in West Yorkshire who watch this video, Sam's in West Yorkshire M Club, why not join? <laughs> why not join and go for a rip with the boys? And that was TF in the E92 M3 as well as the M4 GTS. But what about my car? Let's go take a look. Okay, so we're gonna brave the cold and take a look at my car and see how it's looking after it hit a deer. And for some reason, it's taking me this long to get it sorted. But I am pleased to say, the bonnet is back on. New bonnet, in with the red bonnet, and the grills are back on. They are currently chrome. They might change back to black, who knows. But yeah, as the season is now growing to an end, um, you just do naturally start thinking about what's next and with cars and things like that. I'm not saying I'm gonna sell it, but, who knows? I mean, change is good, right? So there are a few things I'm considering doing. Maybe a new car, maybe not. Who knows? But you know what they say, right? Everything does have a price. So hypothetically thinking, say if a Imola Red 325 Club Sport did come up for sale, would anybody be interested in buying it? And if so, maybe just send me a message on Instagram or write in the comment section below. I'm just thinking about options and thinking about what's next. Change is good, so who knows what I might do in the future with this car. I'm not saying I don't like the car. I love the car. I drive it every single day. However, I'm in a different place to where I was two years ago when I started building the car. So I'm just thinking, looking at possibilities of what could be next, okay? You know, so drop me a message below if it might be something you could be interested in taking off me. And finally, in track news, you may have seen that the track dates have been extended to the end of November. And it is rumoured, it's not official, but there are saying that the track dates will actually extend even further, in fact to December 22nd. Now it's not officially announced yet, who knows, I don't know if they will announce it, we don't even know if it's real, but the rumours are that it is going to be extended to then. So there's plenty more time for you to come and drive a track, so come and see us at Apex, we've got the GT2 RS now, as you know, we do have the M3 as always, we have all the rental cars, and there is plenty of options for you to get out on track yourself. So. Come and find us, okay?
That being said, that is going to end and wrap up today's video. Thank you as always for watching. I've been Tom. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, maybe drop me a comment as well. Click subscribe if you're new and make sure you have a notification bell turned on so you're notified when a new video comes out. And I hope to see you guys back for the next video. Okay, take it easy. Cheers.